So this week I'm going to be working on some house maintenance. I want to get back to my cars, but I did go on vacation. So when you go on vacation, come back, sometimes you find things that need to be fixed around the house. The screen on this screen door had already started to go bad because my dog would rest her paws here and her claws were cutting through. But in my absence, even though my parents were here taking care of her, she uh, got excited about something on the other side of the door and she blew the sheet metal panel out of here. Um, it's a large American Bulldog, so she's very powerful. So now I have a door that I need to repair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install pet resistant screen on here and I'll show you guys how I do that. So here's everything that you're going to need in order to do this job. First I've got the pet screen here. It's basically just a stronger fiberglass screen that can resist the dog's claws. I've got a flathead screwdriver, a scissors for cutting the screen. I've got the spline. Now, if you're not familiar with screening, it's held into the door's grooves via a spline. So all these little grooves along the edge will have a spline pressed into them and you install that spline using this roller tool. You just kind of push it in. When you're done, you cut off the excess screen using the built-in blade. I left one last spline in here so you guys can actually see the removal process. I'm just going to take your flathead screwdriver, pop it into the groove. Alright, so I've just continued to wedge this under until I got it to pop up. Once you get enough of it up, you can pull it out with your hands. You're basically going to have to tug on it while prying under it. See if we can get it now. Yep, got it. So key detail to note here is when you're installing your new spline, right, you're gonna have your screen and you're gonna use the rolling tool to roll the screen into this groove and then you're gonna install the spline. But something that you want to take note of is that there are two grooves here. There's that lower groove and then there's a little groove right in here it's perfectly possible for you to end up getting the spline caught between this groove and that one there and while it'll hold the screen that's wrong and if your dog leans on it from the back and happens to be a powerful one like mine it'll pop right out so you want to make sure that your spline is seated completely in the lower groove away from this section this little section here is actually for when you're done you slide the blade through there and it cuts off the excess screen so just to reiterate the groove in here right is where the spine has to sit in here and in here not in here right this is for slicing the screen all right so now it's time to install the screen now this roll is only seven feet so you're kind of only going to get one shot at this I'm just going to go ahead and roll it all out. It's basically just enough to do one of these doors. Which is kind of ridiculous because it's like $16 for that roll. Alright, so this is about as wide as the door itself is. So I kind of just want to align it more or less with the door. Slightly wider maybe. And I'm going to go ahead and just grab it with the wood clamp. Another corn. You want to pull it kind of taut. Right. If you have more of them, that will definitely help. You can grab the other corners and get it exactly where you want. But for now, I really just need to grab it there so that then I can do the initial roll. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take this roller and I'm just going to come and roll the screen into this gap. rolled in here, now I can come in with the spline. So taking my spline, I'm going to go ahead and position it so that it's in line with the correct grooves. Remember to avoid the outer groove. You want to make sure that it's grooved all the way in here. 
going to go ahead and try to drop it beyond that first groove. Got this tucked in here, gotten rid of the wood clamps because I felt that they were actually kind of obstructing the process. Let's see if we can get this sucker in here. So there it's popping in, but it's popping in backward, and that's not what we want. Let's try something. Let's say I inserted this backward to begin with, and then I did this. Perfect. That went in exactly the way you want it to. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm pretty much installing it vertically. Then we're all made in. screen is in nice and tight. Now I think I'll just pull it taut and do the opposite side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the far end with one hand and just kind of pull the screen a little bit tight and then I'll do the rolling of this section here. Just like before, I'll go ahead and spline it at this point. And what I'm really doing is I'm kind of putting the flat section over by that secondary or that primary groove that I mentioned not to get it into. Sliding it almost flat, right, into the bottom groove. And then I'm going to roll it into the groove just below there. And as you can see, I can basically do it with my nail in this corner. And then just follow along here and press it in. Keep in mind, this does take a good deal of force to do. Gotta really push on it. But it has to be positioned properly or you'll be wasting that force. I'll just go ahead and spline this section.
I'll just tuck the ends in on the flathead. Now I'll just do that at the end and around the sides and this should be ready to rock. Just a quick tip on this process. In order to make it easy to spline, like first you gotta tuck the screen in using your tool, right? So I'll take my tool, I'll tuck all of this in. Come in with the spline, but you don't want to try to tuck the spline in this way. You want it to toward the single-sided groove or the inside. You kind of place it in that way, right? Because then your roller will just be tucking it past that cutting groove. And you can almost do it with your fingernail when you do it this way. All right, so I kind of got it tucked in. Take my spline tool, All right. just apply some pressure here, you can see, tucked right in. So don't try to put it in this way and tuck it into this end, put it in this way and tuck it into the opposite end. That makes it very easy to do. always cut the end at a 45 degree angle. A little bit shorter than what you need because the rolling process kind of stretches the spine. That's the point. I might need to reduce this a little bit more. Of course your roller can't make it all the way to the end because it'll hit the metal. So that's why you need a flathead screwdriver in order to just tuck that down. Now with that done, I can take the bladed portion and start cutting this out. So I'll pull the blade out. Now run it along the upper groove. See how easy that is? We'll just do the same thing all the way around the edge. This is why I was saying earlier that it's important that you tuck the spline down, all the way down, where it's supposed to go, into the lower groove and not into this upper groove here, because this upper groove is literally just for cutting the mesh. So you'll be sliding your blade right into that space and that allows you to cut it. By the way, 
can be easier to cut this with an X-Acto knife just because that little hook blade can be difficult to get in there, especially with the tool kind of in the way. You can just kind of grab an X-Acto knife and run it along the groove and it will cut perfectly. So this door is now ready to rock, and I expect that this pet screen should be able to handle the abuse dealt to it by my American Bulldog, but we'll find out soon enough, won't we? So here's the finished product. For now, I've still got my lawnmower blocking the way just so that I can get done with a couple little details as far as like the return shock and a couple things. With the lock, I might be changing around, but I'm very happy with the way this came out, and once this is all set up as it needs to be, I'm pretty certain that this is going to be able to resist my dog. The main issue is going to be just the claws over time cutting through, but again, this is what this is intended for, so I don't expect it to be a big issue. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you're informed when I post up a new video. If you have any feedback on how I can improve this, feel free to leave that in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching.